YouTube. I'm Roadhawk Wilson, welcoming you into my home. And this is a bit of my story about my life with anxiety. Uh, when I was a kid, I struggled with a rough home life, a inability to talk to strangers, and uh, realistically just panic attacks, straight up panic attacks. And if you never had a panic attack, I'm going to try to explain it in just a few words, and it's it's literally like having the need to move, but every but an elephant sitting on your chest, and a desire to breathe, but you can't. It's kind of like a suffocation of the mind and the brain. It's probably a better way to put it, and. As I grew older, I, I lived with this this diagnosis that many people don't believe exists. And yet, nowadays, people acknowledge it almost too much to the point where it gets overdiagnosed. And I, I can understand, the world is in scary times right now. We don't know how we're going to survive. But imagine being 10 years old and literally thinking you're going to die because you go outside your house. That was me from time to time. That was my panic attacks. And as I spent my life trying to overcome this, I learned that there were techniques to overcoming anxiety. But I often heard, just get over it. Just get over it. It's not that big a deal. You don't have to worry about this. Many different things that I feel contradict the idea of being mentally healthy. Like, if you're, if you're in mourning, which I am right now without the ability to really explain this. Um, explain why. I don't want to get into that right now. But... It, it's like trying to pull yourself up by the shoelaces into the air. If you can do it, you're probably not living with reality. And the idea that you can just overcome anxiety, that you can just push through it, is true. You can, but it takes years of practice. It takes years of therapy. It takes years of working towards that goal. It's not something you can just push through. And as a kid, my bullies would pick on me because of that. My my friends would look at me like I was some kind of alien from time to time because I had a panic attack. And, you know, I grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, which we don't consider that long ago. But it was still a slightly an archaic time because people didn't acknowledge anxiety. They didn't think it was as severe as it is and it, it anxiety is something that can cripple you it can put you in a corner and hinder your life it can cause you to not make new friends cause you to not be able to go to your job cause you to realistically just live your life in fear and luckily i overcame that i i still have panic attacks i put in the effort, I put in the work with my therapist, with my other doctors, and eventually I started to take control of my life. I still have moments where I live in fear, where I, I'm worried. My anxiety is something that I've lived with every day of my life for the last few weeks, but there's a power to being able to acknowledge that it's part of your life. And that despite you feeling your anxiety, despite me feeling my anxiety, me being able to go out and thrive and run my own business and talk about this stuff is nerve wracking, but it's something I do every day. And I do it because I can't let the monster that is anxiety beat me. I can't let it control who I am, what I do, what I, what I think anymore. I have too much on my mind. And I, like I said, I've been working on this since I was eight years old. So this was not an overnight, like, wow, I got here. This was a, I've been on medications. I've talked to docs. I've been in and out of different kinds of therapies. I practice yoga. I practice meditation. Like, I do everything and anything I can that's healthy 
to keep myself from falling back into the anxiety I once felt. And I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, even though you have anxiety, if, you, if you're listening to this and you do, there is a way to control it. It just takes work and effort. And if you don't want to live with it, if you don't want to, there are, are alternatives to medications. There are alternatives to other things. And I know when you're first diagnosed, it's an overwhelming realization just to have anxiety. But the thing that we can't allow is our lives to fall backwards into harder times because of it. Because no matter how our brain works, no matter how we figure our lives will be, Anxiety is a parasite that feeds on us, and if we just try to squash it, try to get rid of it, it takes a lot of work, because it's got an iron hide, but eventually it works, eventually you can make it work, and I guess this, this little podcast type video is proof of that, is proof of the fact that I am a survivor, I'm someone who has lived with something that many people don't overcome, but I get to testify that it is something you can overcome. Without making this a 20 minute video on this topic, I do want to say keep up what keeps you healthy, stay healthy, be healthy, and I will see you in another video. Bye.